Hi folks, this is Sean McCormick and in this video we're going to look at working around uh, an issue that people are having in Lightroom 3. In Lightroom 2 with Slideshow you could have a folder full of mp3s in basically an alphabetical order or you could have a playlist on Mac and iTunes. Apple kept breaking how you access your playlist so would you, go back, you would go back to a Slideshow and it wouldn't play because the playlist was broken and required refreshing. Uh, also with Lightroom 3 there was introduction of video all of these things combined meant that in Lightroom 3 there was only one mp3 track. Now obviously you can have like 10 or 15 minute long tracks. If people want a combination of two or three tracks, um, it's not possible in Lightroom 3 directly. But it is very, very easy to do outside Lightroom. And free for that matter. So what you need to do is you need to go online and you need to go on to Audacity. Which is at audacity.sourceforge.net. You go to the download tab and you select Windows or Mac. So it says like Mac, you can see that you've got a version you can select. And you can also need to select the lame MP3 encoder so you can export MP3 files. Right, when you download them, what you essentially get is you get a folder here with Audacity in it, and then you get the lame library which you need to install. Right, so let's open Audacity. And this is it open here now, so I'm going to go File, Open. And this is going to bring me to where I have two tracks. So I'm going to go open the track here and it's going to open one track and I'm going to open a second track now here you can open as many tracks as you want this is just like literally a copy of that track just to make it quick so what I can do here is it doesn't matter which track let's say I want this track to be my first track so I come in here and then I would go uh, into project and go new stereo track and then I come down to this track and I'm going to select all by doing Command A or Control A on PC. And then I go Command C or Control C on a PC to copy. So I go back up to this track here and I just paste. Switch is uh, Command V to paste. And that will paste in the track. Now it pasted in from the start rather from the cursor position. But that's okay. What we do is we come up here and we go to this double headed arrow. And then we literally just drag the whole track along. Now the reason why we're dragging the whole track along like this is we could just paste in at the end here and then it would run from one track into the next but it would also include any silence. So by doing this we have a crossfade area where one track is fading out and another track is fading in which you know sounds much better. So I'm just going to go back to the little clicker there so I can click on the timeline and play and press play. So we have one track fading out and the second track fading in perfect. So that's how you make the two tracks to fade out. Now obviously if you had more tracks you would create another stereo track and paste into that and again you would drag along to get that into the position where you want for crossfading there as well. Now that we've heard that these are working together we need to uh, basically export the mp3. We need to make sure that you've pressed stop and everything's completely stopped. Then we go to the file menu and you go export as mp3. Your tracks will be mixed down to two stereo tracks. Yep that's exactly what we want. OK save as, yeah, we're going to call it track 1 on our Mac Pro, which is in a different location altogether. So I click save, and it's going to save out the file. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to skip until it's saved. Okay, the track is now saved. If I jump back to Lightroom, I can come into Soundtrack, select Music, and I know it's on Mac Pro, and it's called track 1. So we select track 1 here, choose, and we can see that we've got a longer selection. Our original selection was 317, that was track 1. Now the new one is 628, which is slightly shorter because of the uh, crossfade that we have in it. And if you press play, um, I'm just going to click continue to jump up, you can hear the music is playing. So our music will play with our slideshow basically. So that's basically how you can combine files to create a longer MP3 uh, for Lightroom for the slideshow. 